Good morning, children and parents. Welcome to day four of CBC. We hope you are joining us as a family as we present day four. Before we begin, we'd like to thank all our participants for sending us those pictures and videos. It's wonderful to see the kind of enthusiasm you're showing towards this camp. And a special note to all parents who have sent great reviews to our team. It is so encouraging to see parents supporting this. It helps us improve as we go. Now, we'd like to remind you once again, day five, that is tomorrow, CBC begins at 6 a.m. We have Mars that's telecasted live at 6.30 a.m. So please log in at 6 a.m. And then join us for Mass too. I hope you have your home altars ready and set for it too. And as promised, we hope you have a fun day ahead and enjoy the task that we have in store for you. Enjoy! CBC 2020 CBC CBC 2020 CBC CBC 2020 This is CBC 2020, yeah! Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together today. May everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help. We thank you for your protection and love and offer up this online camp into your hands. Even though we aren't there to praise and worship you physically, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts that all of our thoughts and actions would reflect your holy will. We pray for all the volunteers and helpers of this camp and pray that you will speak to us through them. We pray for the smooth functioning of the camp and ask for your guidance, wisdom and support. Thank you for loving us so much and showing us your mercy and peace every day. We honour you as our King, Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just wanna be seen by ba 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 I just wanna be seen by ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I don't wanna be a Pharisee No way I don't wanna be a Pharisee No way Cause they're not there, you see I don't wanna be a Pharisee Cause I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 Oh I don't wanna be a hypocrite no Oh I don't wanna be a hypocrite no Cause they're not hip with it I don't wanna be a hypocrite 
nothing Cause I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord of my soul to keep I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 Well, I don't wanna be a Sadducee I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Can 
to go faster. I want to hear you all. Yes, that's the spirit. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. That's what Tony knows. A little bit faster. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. That's what Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony today and I hope you enjoy making them okay all these things that I'm gonna teach you is only made of paper I'm sure you have paper at home right so the first thing we're gonna be doing is a small sticker that you can probably stick in your rooms or on your books this sticker should probably make you remember that you are the lamb and our God is the shepherd that's what the theme is right feed the lamb I'm sure you will love the sticker that we're gonna make 
so let's start making it okay to start off with we need a sheet of paper and the first step is you will fold it and you are gonna make a circle a tiny circle you can either draw the circle and cut it out or just This is how the circle will look after you cut it out. After doing the circle, you can use the same sheet of paper and you will draw a sheet. And this is how the sheep's face will look. Next, we will do the two legs of the sheep. Okay, that would probably be seen. So now we have our main things that we have for the sticker. So now I want you to take the head of the sheep and stick it right here. The legs come behind. And now we have the most exciting part that is to stick cotton all over okay not the whole thing but i will show you where to after making your sheep i want you to take a small strip of paper and write your name whatever name you have you will write on the sheet okay i hope you had fun making that sticker and this is how my sticker looks thing that we're gonna learn is how to make a hanging for your room okay something that you can hang it anywhere and let's get started okay first I want you to take a sheet of paper and cut a big circle okay let's start once you cut out the circle I want you to draw a big sheep face okay you can draw any sheep face that you like None of us is perfect. And that's how a sheep face looks and I want to write feed my sheep on top so after this I want you to poke a small hole down here and take a small thread or a twine that you have at home it can be any any color so this is how it looks when you tie up your thread and next i want you to draw a heart if you have red paper please do do that if you don't have you can just use a white paper and color it red or pink or whatever color you like it looks when you finish the heart and I want you to write fed in the heart because I want you to remember that Jesus will always be our shepherd and we will always be his sheep and no ma matter what he always feeds us and keeps us safe from all danger and we just need to remember that as long as we have Jesus in our life we will always be fed and we don't have to worry about anything this is how your hanging will look once you finish it you can just hang them anywhere you want so these are the things that you learned today and i hope you had fun see you guys soon hi kids welcome to class well, uh, over the past three days, we have understood who the Good Shepherd is and how we are the sheep 
who gets fed by the shepherd. We've come to know that in order to recognize the shepherd, we need to read the Bible, we need to pray, we need to take all the nourishment that we can get through the food that the shepherd has to offer us with scripture, with the Holy Eucharist, through the strength of Jesus in order to be good sheep. We also learned how it doesn't matter where we come from or what we do because we're all equal in the eyes of God. So since we know so much about the Good Shepherd, since we know that the Lord is our shepherd and he's always going to be there for us, I think we're ready now to put it into action. So today's class is all about go and making disciples and being shepherds in other people's lives and feeding them. So in order to understand how we can feed others and we can be good shepherds to other people around us, I have a fun activity for us planned today. So for this, I want everyone to use a black color card paper. It can be a card paper or you can use a white air force size sheet and uh, paint it black or color it black. So now I want you to take a white sheet of paper and if you have a circle tencel, as you can see, or any other circle object at home to which you can draw circles onto this white sheet of paper. So I want you to draw at least three circles onto the white sheet of paper. So as you can see, I have drawn three circles onto the white sheet of paper. Now what I want you to do is take these sheets and cut out all the circles from here with your scissors. So as you can see, I want you to cut all the three circles from the sheet through which you have drawn it. Ensure that your circles are not too small because I want you all to write something into these circles, okay? Okay, so there you have it. You have three circles from what you've cut out. Now, before we continue with the activity, I want to tell you all the reason why we're doing this activity. Through this activity, you all are going to find out how you can feed other people in your life, as well as be shepherds in other people's lives in order to help them get closer to Jesus, who is the good shepherd. Okay, so I want you all to take three colors, red, yellow and green okay and i want you all to color each circle with one color so now the first circle i want you to color it red make sure it's not too dark because i want you to write something in now on this red circle i want you to write stop now for stop i want you to continue writing and listen to god we get this in the gospel of matthew chapter 25 verse 40 which says the king will reply i tell you whenever you did this for one of the least important of these brothers of mine you did it for me so the first circle stop and listen to god is from this verse in the bible now i want you to color the second circle in yellow so now in the yellow circle i want you to write slow and make time for god now this is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 10 which says if you give food to the hungry and satisfy those who are in need then the darkness around you will turn to the brightness of noon. Now the last circle should be colored in green. Take a light color so that you can write something inside. Now the last circle after you color it in green, I want you to open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 which says, Go then to all peoples everywhere and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So now that we've got three different colors, that is red, yellow and green, each of which you have to write something on them, I want you to take your black sheet of paper and stick them in order. So you start with red, which says stop. You then place the yellow one, 
and then the green okay so now when you stick them onto this black strip of paper you're gonna have a red circle saying stop and listen to god you're gonna have a yellow circle that says slow and make time for god and you're gonna have a green circle that says go and make disciples and i want you to title this as the god's signal because this is something that's going to remind you all that you have to keep god in charge in order to make disciples So kids, in order to make sure that we pay attention to God's signal always, it's very important that we realize how important it is for us to stop and listen to what God has to tell us. And in order to listen to God, we need to maintain silence with ourselves. And the way we can do this is when we meditate and when we listen to the word of God, when we pay attention to what story Jesus is trying to tell us in the scriptures. Another way in which we can be disciples to others is if we slow down in life, if we're not always busy about running to our football game or ensuring that we go on time for dance practice, but also make time to observe people around us, to observe a very unfortunate child on the road who may need food, who needs help, let's say a classmate who needs help with homework and if we're good in that subject we can always offer to help or any other small way which, which we can help our neighbor we can help our grandparents or close relatives or friends in order to become disciples in their lives to show them God's love through us and the last way we can make disciples is if we don't forget that all of us are equal in the eyes of God. It doesn't matter where we come from. We need to ensure that we are always united for Christ. We are with each other and we support each other in order for all of us to do well. So I'll give you all a brief example. When you watch a football game, let's say the team belongs to Manchester United or the Chelsea club, or Arsenal, or Liverpool. How do you think these footballers play? Do you think they play for themselves or they play together as a team? You'll never see a footballer who just wants to play because he wants to be good. No doubt that they will practice day and night to ensure that they are very good in their game. But more importantly, when they play on that football field, they come together as a team and that's how they win their game. So in the same way, all of us are footballers in our lives, but we all belong to the same football club, which is Jesus the Good Shepherd as our coach and our master. So in order to be disciples to one another, we have to play with each other. If a footballer falls down, his team member will go and pick him up, will lift him up, will ensure that they tackle well and they come together and play so that they are together. So it's time for us to be this football team for Christ, to be with each other, to ensure we're always supporting one another, we're always accepting one another. Next time, when we go to school, we need to make sure that nobody feels left out. If we have our group of friends, it is our duty to look at another girl or boy in school who does not have a friend and go and approach that person and talk to them. Let's not make anyone feel left out and reject them. Let's be accepting. Let's be how Jesus would be. He would let anyone come to him and say we have to offer our love to everyone out there without any restrictions. So it's time kids for y'all to do this to everyone, whether it's your neighbor, whether it's a friend in school, your classmate, your family member, or any other distant relative. It's time that we all show our love to them, that we help them, that we care for them, that we reach out whenever we can. And in this way, we can be disciples. So for today's class, we're not going to have a prayer, but I want all of y'all to make this song your prayer. 
And for that, I want you all to stand up and get ready to dance. today is going to be amazing, fun, and crazy. I am Martin Michael. And I am Benjamin Michael. So guys, get ready for the activity that we have planned for you, and that is a treasure hunt. All right, you've got to be fast like me, because they call me Black Lightning. I'm super fast. Remember, there are four important rules. Note them down, because we're not going to repeat it again. First point. Guys, I hope you're locked and loaded for the rules. Rule number one is about time. This activity is going to be conducted for just one hour. So make sure you're fast, smart, and quick enough to complete your tasks. Rule number two, the clues will be given to you. After you complete the clue, there'll be a task that will be given to you. Only when you complete the task, you'll get your next clue. So the clue and the task go hand in hand. Rule number three. If you thought killing mosquitoes this lockdown was tough, wait for our clues. Remember, they're gonna be funky, they're gonna be different, they're gonna be smart, and they're gonna be a lot of puzzles. So get and be ready, because you don't know, you might find a pineapple. So it can be music, it can be from the Bible, it can be things from home, and so many other things. So keep in mind, it is different. The last point, you have each of you have a point of contact. The numbers will be given on the bottom of the screen at the end of the video, so please note it down. All information will be passed only through your point of contact, so please keep in touch with them. So guys, get set and be ready for Treasure Hunt 2020. Okay, an instruction before we begin treasure hunt. For all the clues that you're given, please send us the answers in a single message, serial number wise, okay? We, once we get one message with all the answers in it, then will we send you the task that lies ahead, okay? If you send us individually, it's gonna be a little problematic given the number of participants that we have in this camp. So please remember, once again, get the answers to all the clue, all the clues, send it to us as a single message in the WhatsApp number and then your task will be assigned to you. Good luck and have fun.
you, Martin and Benji, for organizing the treasure hunt session. Good luck, children. Good luck, parents. Once again, we'd love for you to share videos and pictures of your tasks. We'd love to see your participation and we will be sharing them on, as a throwback tomorrow. With that, we conclude day four. Once again, reminding you, day five, tomorrow, we begin at between 6 and 6.15 a.m., latest 6.15 a.m. Indian Standard Time. But we will begin with a Mass at 6.30 a.m., which will be telecasted live. Join us for Holy Mass. Hope you've got your altars ready. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, good day and God bless.